The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 25th Chapter, Text Number 35, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 4th, 1974, in Bombay, India. Oh, my mother, my devotees always see the smiling face in my form with eyes like the rising morning sun. They like to see my various transcendental forms, which are all benevolent, and they also talk favorably with me. Pasanti te me ruchirani amma santa prasanna bhaktra aruna lochanani rupani divyane varapradani shakanga bhajang spriho niyana bhaganti In the previous verse, it is said the Anannatu Bhagavata Prasadja Sabhajayanti Mama Paurishani. Uh, those who are devotees, they assemble together. Uh, <clears throat> Bodhantam Parasparam. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, they discuss. Uh, about the glories of the Lord. Bodhantam Parasparam. That is Sadhu Sangha. We have also uh, discussed the Satang Prasanga Atma Bija Sangha Bhavanti Ritkanna Rasa. When things are discussed about the Supreme Personality of Godhead amongst the devotees, it becomes a different thing. Uh, than the discussion in the uh, debating club of the non-devotees. Uh, the Krishna katha is not a subject matter for debating club. It is meant for the devotees. Uh, without devotees nobody can understand. The others who are not devotees, they simply waste their time in reading Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam, such literature. They simply waste their time. Because these subject matters are for the devotees. <clears throat> we have several times discussed this point that the so called scholars, politicians, and philosophers. They read Bhagavad Gita and comment in a different way. This is their foolishness. They cannot understand Bhagavad Gita. It is not possible. Oh. <clears throat> My Guru Maharaj used to say, it is just like licking the bottle of honey. Now you want honey, I give you one bottle, but you do not know how to taste it. He began to lick up the bottle. Now what he will taste? If you think, here is the bottle of honey, let me lick. He will not get any taste. It must be open. But the opening key is with the devote. Uh, you do not know how to open it. Uh, therefore, it is said, Satanga Prasangat Mamabija Sangvida Bhavantirit Kandara Sayana. The devotee is now how to open it, the bottle. And then they can test. Therefore, Sabhajayanti Jatra Purushani. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says to John, that I am speaking to you the science of Bhagavad Gita. Imam Vivasati Yogam Pratvana Hamabhyam Idam Yogam. Bhagavad Gita means Bhakti Yogam. So Krishna said formally, say, four hundred millions of years ago, Bhagavad Gita is not new. Uh, it is. First of all, it was spoken to sun god. And from the Monu's age and other age, we can calculate 
It is about some millions of years ago it was spoken. Imang vipassati yugam praktamana mambayam. So Krishna says, that very old yoga system I am speaking to you again. It is not a new thing that I am manufacturing for you. No. Everything, uh, God is eternal and His instruction is also eternal. And the followers are also eternal. There is nothing new. Nitya sāsatayaṁ purāṇ. Nitya sāsatayaṁ purāṇ. Very old, but still it is eternal and fresh. This is spiritual matter. You read Bhagavad-gītā. It was spoken four hundred millions of years ago, and then again five thousand years ago. Still, if you read Bhagavad-gītā daily, you will find it fresh. You'll never find it old, as Krishna is never old. Addaita achyati anādi ananta rūpam ādhyam purāna purusam. Krishna is the purāna, the oldest man. But nabhajo vanancha. But he is always see, find Krishna, uh, just a young boy, half twenty years. Nabhajo So similarly, uh, Krishna's words, everything Krishna, absolute, his name, his form, his quality, his activities, they're all fresh and new. Otherwise, how the devotees can glorify the same Krishna daily with greater enthusiasm? Greater enthusiasm. The more you glorify, you feel more enthusiastic to more glorify. Glorify, glorify. Hmm. This is spiritual. In the material world, if you speak one thing once, twice, thrice, four times, then it becomes disgusting. But how this Hare Krishna mantra, you are chanting, you can chant twenty-four hours, it will feel fresh and enthusiastic. That is spiritual. Therefore, <coughs> therefore, it is a, not a subject matter. This sound is not like this radio material sound. It is also sound, but it is spiritual sound, and it is coming from the spiritual world. Just like in the material world, we can release some sound from here. It can be heard from thousands of miles, but not more than that. The spiritual sound, it is uh, released from many, many millions and millions and trillions of miles away. Uh, still, it can be heard, provided you have got the machine to capture it. That is Bhagavad Prem. Uh, so those who have God develop <coughs> love of Godhead, they can hear. As it is said in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that I am speaking to you the old message, Bhagavad Gita, which I spoke to Son God some millions of years ago. Uh, so why you are speaking to me? Uh, I am not a Vedantist, I am not a sannyasi, I am not uh, any advanced in spiritual understanding. Uh, people may say, but Krishna says, yes, uh, you are my bhakto, bhaktosi. Therefore, to understand Bhagavad-gītā means one has to become first of all a bhakto. The so-called non-devotee atheist class, uh, scholar and politician, they cannot understand. It is not possible. They cannot enter into it. The same thing, leaking of the horny bottle, that's all. What you will taste? Uh, it is not possible. Uh, therefore Krishna says 
तद्विधि पनिपाते ना परिप्रश्ने ना सेवया उपदक्षण्ति तद्ज्ञानम् ज्ञानी ना तत्तदर्शी ना the same example can be you can go to a person who knows how to open the bottle of honey then you can test otherwise if you simply lick up the uh, book bhagavad gita becoming a very big scholar you will never test it uh, <coughs> will never test it you can satisfy yourself now i'm licking up daily bhagavad gita thrice but what will understand unless you are a devotee uh, you'll not understand the bottle is packed up <coughs> so yet it is said पश्चंति ते में रुचिरानी अम्बो संतो देख एंड सी मी संतो नॉट दिस रस्केल्स एंड फूल्स देख एंड सी कैन नॉट सी नाहं प्रकाश सर्वस्व जोग माया समाप्त हो भगवान से इतने भगवान आई एम नॉट एक्सपोज्ड टू दिस फूल्स एंड रस्केल्स नॉन डिवोटिस Why I say fools and rascals to the non-devotees? I am not saying. Krishna says, "Namang duskitu nam mura prabhadante naradhama." Mura means rascal. Mura means rascal. And duskitu nam. Duskitu nam means always engaged in sinful activities. Uh, no restraint. They can eat everything. They can drink everything. They can do everything. Without any restriction, they think what is that in drinking and eating in the matter of religion? That is the new invention of samis and yogis that you can do everything and still you become at arms. But that is not possible. <clears throat> One has to become a pure brahmana. Then why in the Vedic civilization a pure brahmana is so respected? Because They are symboling representation of the Vedas. Satta, Sama, Dama, Titikha, Arjava, Jnanam, Vidyanam, Astikam. That is Brahman, who has got this uh, qualification. Suttam, who has taken the absolute truth as the aim of life. Hmm. People, ordinary people, how they know? Uh, Sattam, Sochom, very clean, always. Trishanda, Snan, taking bathing, thrice. Sattam, Sochom, Samam, controlling the mind. Not that I am servant of my mind. I shall do what my mind dictates. These are the qualification of Brahma. Samam, Dhamam, controlling the senses. These are. His. The symbolic representation of the Vedas. So, therefore, satang prasangam. There, one has to discuss about the supreme personality of God. Among the satang, santo, satang santo, the same thing. Santo. Here, the word is is santo. Pasanti me, te me, ruchirani amma mother. They can see santo. Santa Sadai Vari Dayesu, below point in the Brahma Sangita. Again, this word is used. Santa, Premanjana Churita Bhakti below Chanena. Santa Sadai Vari Dayesu below point. Yang Shama Sundaram Achinta Gunastaru Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bhaja. So, the Krishna Govinda Shama Sunda. Is meant for the shanta, not for the naradhamas, duskitana, muras. They cannot understand. One has to qualify himself uh, to be sinless. Namang uh, duskitana. This is said, and another um, paragraph is there. Jesam tu antakatam paapam jananam punna karma. Those who are completely free from sinful activities, these are to untouch, no more touch with sinful life. 
ते दंड महान इन मुक्तब भजन दी मांग दी लंबता दे कैन फिक्स आप देर डिवोशन एंड सर्विस टू कृष्णा इट इज नॉट सो इजी बट वन कैन बिकम इमीडिएटली संत विद इन ए सेकेंड हाउ दैट ऑल्सो कृष्णा से दैट सर्वधर्मान पुरित जो मामे कंग सरण ब्रज अहंग पा सर्व पापी भम खुश द क्वालिफिकेशन इज Unless one is sinless, he cannot understand Krishna. He cannot understand what is Krishna bhajan. But if one is eager, is actually uh, very eager, he can do it immediately. What is that? Surrender to Krishna. Sarva dharma an purita jo give up all this nonsense, so-called religious principle. Simply surrender to Krishna. Krishna, I was forgotten about you. Now I surrender unto you fully. If you like, you can kill me. If you like, you can give me protection. This is surrender. Not business, Krishna. If you give me this nice thing, then I will surrender. That is not surrender. That is business. Uh, when Prahlad Maharaj was offered benediction, the my dear Prahlad. You have suffered so much for me, even from your father. Now your enemies are all. Or you can ask any benediction you like. Prahlad Maharaj said, "What is this, my dear Lord? Am I a benia, bonik? That because I have suffered for you, I shall ask some benediction? Don't, don't offer me that. Because." You are the supreme powerful. Whatever I want, I can get from you. And I am born in the Osuro families. I am inclined for this material enjoyment. So don't delude me, my dear sir. And I can ask you. And why shall I ask you? Because I have seen my father so powerful. Even the demigods are afraid of him. And you have finished all his power within a second. So why shall I ask for these things? Kindly engage me in the service of your servant. This much I want. I don't want anything. Uh, therefore, uh, a devotee never asks uh, anything material from the supreme personality. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us, na dhananga na jananga na sandaring kavitang ba jagadhi sakam. They are simply satisfied by glorifying the Lord. That is their only satisfaction. Uh, if, he, they, if they get the opportunity of glorifying the Lord, as it is said in the previous verse, that. Sabhajayante mama paurishani. Mama paurishani. The glorious activities of the Lord. This is the way of bhajan. Satatam kirtantam maam jatantaschadhirabhrata. This is the way of bhakti yoga. Simply glorify this. The glorification, so much activities. Krishna therefore comes to give advantage to the devotees for glorifying Him, because He acts paritrana and sadhuna bina sahaja duskita to kill the demons and to give protection to the sadhus. He has to work uh, from the very beginning of Krishna's birth. Uh, the enemies are there, demons are there. Konsa advised uh, his, um, I mean to say, constables. So be very careful. As soon as there is Krishna's birth, immediately inform me, and I shall kill. You are always thinking of Krishna, a first-class Krishna concept. Uh, always, but to kill him. Uh, similarly. You will find there are so called religionists. Uh, 
their only purpose, so-called scholars, their only purpose is how to kill Krishna. You'll find so many commentaries by the politician, by the so-called scholars, but their only aim is how to kill Krishna, how to take away Krishna from Bhagavad-gītā. No mention of Bhagavad-gītā, of Krishna. They'll talk so many nonsense, but they'll, they'll never say that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and He should be worshipped. They'll never say. That means asuras. Asuri bhāvamā punta. Namāṅ dhiskita nam mūrhā prapaddhante narādhamā māyamā puritagyāna. Oh, they are very big, big scholars, sir. Uh, you are talking about them as mūrhā narādhamā. Yes, because although they are so-called scholars, their real knowledge has been taken up. Māyā puritagyāna. Why? This punishment that their knowledge has been taken up. Asuri bhava masrita. They are simply thinking of killing me, that's all. How to uh, evade Krishna bhakti? That is their whole propaganda. So we should not be like that. Uh, if we want to be fixed up, then in devotional service, then as it is advised by Kapil De, he is the Supreme Personality God has incarnate. And he says, Pasantiti me Ruchirani Amma Sant. They can see uh, that so unless God has got form, how one can see? Uh, how God can be Niraka? God is never Niraka. But his Sachidananda Vigraha, his Akar, is not like us. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigra. His form is Satchit Ananda. This body is not Satchit Ananda. Sat means Sitana, and Chit means full of knowledge, and Ananda means full of bliss. So if we study, is our body eternal? No, sir. It is temporary say fifty years, sixty years, at most hundred years. So it is not eternal. It is not soft. Asat. Asatoma sadgama, the breathing injunction. Don't keep yourself in this asat body. Just get your original sat body, eternal body. We are not interested. We are simply interested with this temporary body. I am this body. I am not this body. I am spirit soul. I am within this body. This is knowledge. This is called Siddhi. So long I am thinking, I am this body, then I am cats and dogs. They are thinking like that. But when I know that I am not this body, I am the spirit spark, spirit soul, I am encased within this body. That is knowledge. That is knowledge. <coughs> so, those who are self-realized, uh, spirit, soul, uh, they can see paramabhūta prasannātmā nasu cati na kāṅkati samasarvi sudhūteśu mad bhakti lavati panāṁ. That bhakti means they can see God, Krishna, and they can serve Him. Rishikena rishikesa sevanaṁ bhakti rucca. Bhakti means to engage your senses, rishi, and in the service of the rishikesha, that is bhakti. So here it says, pasyanti te me ruchirāṇi. Uh, Krishna is so beautiful, ruchirāṇi. Ruchi means very attractive. Uh, now, fortunately, uh, people in Bombay say that our deity here is more beautiful. They say there is no such deity in Bombay city. So this is uh, our duty to dress Krishna in such an attractive way that people at least see that it is very beautiful. Then he becomes a devotee. Simply by appreciating. Simply by appreciating if they say, no, the deity worship is very nice. 
uh, then they go a step forward, uh, step forward, immediately, uh, simply by appreciation. Then other things will come uh, gradually. Uh, therefore the temple I say should be exactly to the routine and uh, to the instruction of the śāstra and guru and ācārya so that uh, the worshipper in the temple as well as the visitor, both of them will benefit. They will be gradually seen. Uh, Krishna is so kind that He has uh, consented to appear in a way so that we can see. At the present moment we cannot see Krishna as He is spiritually embodied. Satchitananda Bhigra, because we have no eyes to see Satchitananda Bhigra. So here is also Satchitananda Bhigra, Achyamurti. It is not idol worship. The atheist class may say so, but it is not so. Those who have got eyes, they can see, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he entered the temple of Jagannath, immediately fainted. Oh, here is my Lord. Here is my law. So one has to become santa, then one can see. But it is culture by culture. Premanyana Surita Bhakti Bilochane. Santa Sadaiva. When you develop that culture, when you develop that love for Krishna, then you will see immediately and you will faint. Here is my law. <coughs> So, prasanna bhaktra aruna lochanāyani. Prasanna bhaktra. Hmm. Prasanna means pleasing. Uh, uh, somebody was ta- talking that they are, your deity is just like trying to talk with you. Prasanna bhaktra. Yes. He is here to talk with you. But he is waiting whether you are interested to talk with him. That's all. Krishna says that tesaṁ satata-yuktānāṁ bhajatāṁ prīti-pūrvakaṁ buddhi-yogaṁ dadāmitham. He talks. But with whom? Tesaṁ satata-yuktānāṁ. One who is twenty-four hours engaged with love and faith in the service of the law. Uh, to whom? Just like if you want to talk with some big man, then you must have qualification. Uh, is it is it possible that if you want to talk with the uh, big man here, immediately you like? No, you cannot talk. You must be fit to talk with him. Similarly, Krishna is ready to talk with you. Uh, he has come. He has descended in Archamurti to talk with him to be visible by you. Now you make yourself ready and fit to talk with you. Then you will exchange conversation. Santas sadaiva This is possible. This is a qualification. <coughs> so rūpāṇi dibbāṇi varapradāṇi. Dibbāṇi. Dibbā means divine. Dibbāṇi. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma karma chame dibbam. Dibbam. They are not material things. Uh, one has to see. Uh, so, uh, if you say, as it is said, Shakanga vachaṁ spriyaniyāṁ badanti. Spriyaniyāṁ. Very favorably to talk. Uh, suppose if I say, you have no eyes. You are blind. This is not favorable. So the non-devotees, Mahabharis, they say God has no eyes. So it is indirectly saying God is blind. So if I say you are blind, you nonsense, you are blind. Is it favorable we talking? Uh, most unfavorable. Uh, directly insulting. Uh, so those who are talking about God, niraka, no eyes, no leg, no head, no tail, nothing, niraka, they are simply blaspheming, uh, not spionia. Uh, 
God does not want to hear such nonsense things. Huh. Therefore it is said, sakaṁ apātaṁ spriyaṁ vadanti. You cannot say that Krishna is blind, Krishna is lame, Krishna has no hands, Krishna has no nothing, nothing. Indirectly saying Krishna has does not exist. This kind of addressing Krishna, uh, nyāka, is not uh, favorable talking with Krishna. Uh, favorable talking, if you want to talk with Krishna, then you must concern the Vedic literature, how Krishna is worshipped. Vīnaṁ kannaṁ taṁ aravinda dalāyatākṣaṁ varahābataṁ samasitāṁ vidasandarāṅgaṁ kandarpa kūtika maniya viṣeṣa sobhaṁ govindaṁ ādipurisaṁ tamaṁ bhajāmi. My Lord Krishna, Govinda, he is playing on his flute. Vīnaṁ kannaṁ taṁ aravinda dalāyatākṣaṁ his eyes are just like petals of the lotus Flower. Uh, he has a nice uh, peacock feather. These are the basic description of Krishna. Not that the devotees have imagined some, that the Mahavadi says, just imagine the form of God. The God's form cannot be imagined. That is not God. Anything imagination is not fact. It must be factual, and the factual information you get from the Vedas. Uh, not only you get the Vedas, when Krishna was present on this earth, he exhibited his roop, hmm, uh, his form, his activities, his lila, everything he exhibited so kindly. So in this way we have to study the science of God, the science of Krishna, then our life will be successful. Uh, and if we can understand uh, Krishna's activities, Krishna, Krishna's form, Krishna's quality, then we become fit for going back.